Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk to you guys about um, my first time or my first accident. Um, it's gonna be like a little story time. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna get right into this video. So this happened July in 2019. So before I got the car that I have now, um, I originally had a Ford Focus and it was like bright blue. Everybody knew I was out with that car. Like it was just, it was a hot boy car. That's what it was. I'm gonna just call it that. So that car, I was driving that car everywhere. So it eventually went, like the transmission went, so I had to get in the car. So the car that I have now, and um, I got it in July of 2019. So I got it, it's a Kia Forte. I had it for like a week, right after a week. First of all, I don't even know if it was, I think it was about to be a week, like it wasn't even a full week. So I'm coming home from work, driving, minding my business. I'm at a traffic light and the way traffic light is, it's two lanes that go straight and then there's a turning lane to go left. So this car so the the turning lane always goes first like their light always turns green first for the arrow unless it's like because normally at night time i think they all change at the same time like everybody's light is green on that one side so there during the day their light turns green first so their light was green they go it's like before my light turns green i'm in this far lane i'm in the far lane right here going straight across so before my light turns green, their light is green for a good like 30, 20, 25, 30 seconds. Like it's a, a long period of time that their light is green. They're going, like mad cars went, it's, it's over. Now my light's green. I'm going across and a car comes. This is me, I'm in the far lane, there's two lanes. I'm in this lane. There's a car coming, hits the back of me hits the front of the person that was behind me. First of all, I didn't even know this was happening. Like, when it happened, my car was just sliding. I'm like, what the heck? Cause like, I didn't see anybody coming. And it's like, if I didn't go, like right when I was supposed to go, like, she hit me so hard that she knocked the back of my car off. Now say she didn't hit behind me and she hit like directly here, it, it would have been done. So that happened. Um, I, I, my car is there and I'm like, bro, like this lady really just hit me. So then I call my dad and I'm like, I just got an accident, blah, blah, blah. So he comes, mind you, I'm five minutes away from my house. Like I was almost home. I was this close to being home. So she did that. I get out the car. I'm looking at my car. I'm like, bro. Like seriously, this is terrible. Like the whole back of my car is off. I'm like, <laughs> I just got this. But then I'm just like, I'm thankful that I'm like still alive. Cause like it could have been 10 times worse. So I'm just thankful that I'm still alive. But um. So that happened and the lady that did it, um, like once, so there was a whole bunch of cars that had pulled over or whatever. And then like talking to me like, oh, you just, just like, are you hurt? Are you good? Cause if you're hurt, you know, you get some money out of this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm fine. My arms were tingling a little bit, but besides that, I was perfectly fine. I was just like, like, I just wish my car didn't look like this, but like, I am very thankful to still be standing right here, so. I mean, that's that. So they're like, oh, we'll call the police or whatever. So they called the police. The police come. The police are like, oh, are you good? Are you fine? Like, yes, I'm fine. Um, then they asked the lady or the girl who, the other girl who got hit. So her airbags were out. The front of her car was done. And she had a bloody nose. And she was sitting like on the curb with her brother talking to her. 
So then the lady that hit us, so she hit us and she hit a pole, like right after. So they're like asking her, is she good? Does she want to go to the hospital, this and that? She's like, no, I don't want to go to the hospital, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, like, does anybody not see nothing wrong with this? This lady ran a red light that was red for like a good two, three minutes. Like, and then y'all think this is okay? Y'all think that she is like perfectly fine? Like, no, that lady had to be off something. Some type of drug, drinking, something. Cause it was clear as day that your light was red. Mind you, like I'm basically across the street already now and you still hitting. <laughs> and this is okay? Come on, no. So, they let her go. She never came over to me to say, are you good? Or just apologize or just, just talk. None of that. None of that went down, none of that happened. It's just like, she acted like nothing just happened. Like she was chilling. So that happened. And because that happened, I couldn't drive my car. I had to get a rental. So I had this rental for like two months. So the rental I had was a Jeep Wrangler. So the day that I went to like get it or whatever, um, they gave me like mad different options. And one of them was a Jeep, Jeep Wrangler. So I'm like looking, I'm like, oh, I want to try that one because a Jeep Wrangler has been my dream car since like day one. Like little kid, I'm like, oh, I want that, like hot pink, blah, blah, blah. After a while, I was like, I want a black one. So that's exactly what they had for the rental. So I got the black Jeep Wrangler, the four door one, that's the one I wanted. So um, I got that. So I get in the car, right? And the seat doesn't move very far back. So I'm like, I don't know if this can be for me because I'm 5'9 and this seat is not going nowhere. And then it's mad close to the steering wheel. And I have like a phobia of being close to steering wheels and airbags and all that, like for anybody. Like if you're in my car, don't sit so close to the dashboard that if the airbag comes out, you're gonna suffocate and die. Like, I hate that. So, I was like, I'm like, I don't like that the seat doesn't go back. So, that was like that. And I was like, all right. So then, it's July. So, mind you, it's hot. So, I get in the car. I'm like, all right, it's hot in here. I need to put the window down. There is no button to put the window down where the window is at. So, I'm looking. I'm like, bro, where is the button? I see the buttons where the radio was at. <laughs> I see the buttons where the radio was at. So I press it, I'm like, all right. So that's that. So the only thing I basically liked about that car was that the roof comes off. That's the only thing that I liked about it. Um, so then after that whole experience, I had that car for two months, I was like, or the truck, whatever. It, it is definitely a way to eat up your money because the gas for that, bro, I was only putting $20 in there and not even, sometimes I only put 15 but it was not even filling up halfway. So I was like, nah, I can't even like afford this truck. Like this is too much for me. Three things I don't like about it, including the gas, which is the third thing. And then I only like the fact that the roof comes off. So I'm like, this car, like this showed me that I don't even need this. Like this car is not for me. So after the two months, first of all, this lady didn't even have insurance. So we didn't get nothing from her. Like it was just a bad like type of experience. So I get my car back and like, so basically it was like, they had to fix like whatever was going on with the brakes. I don't know if they had to like put in a new brake because the the um when she knocked the back of my car off the um the blinkers the back lights whatever they called they were gone so I couldn't drive it because I didn't have those so when they redid it I think they did something to the brake to like incorporate it with the back lights and 
Like, it just wasn't the same. Like, when I first got that car, the brake was mad tight. When I got it back, it was, like, a little bit loose. I felt like this. I've had this car for, like, a year. It's, like, hmm, that, that, I didn't like it. But, I mean, now I don't feel the difference. But I was just, like, all this could have been, like, oh, all this could have not happened if this lady was paying attention. So, yeah that's how that went and it was just like what are you doing like how did you run that light when it was red for like three minutes no explanation no nothing like she didn't even apologize and like i'm the type of person who will forgive you for anything like quick so honestly i mean i wasn't like i don't know her she didn't really owe that to me but it's like still like really you didn't even see if i was okay like if, if i'm telling you if i ran into somebody and i hurt them or i hurt somebody or i i, I ran into your car the first thing i would do is apologize because that was my fault i did it so but i mean i guess we're all different but yeah so that's that if you guys like this story just like the if you guys like the story time just make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and um i can give you guys more story times if you guys would like um i mean there's not really much happening right now i can give you guys like old stories but um so yeah if you guys like this just make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in my next